Today we'll be discussing the best tips to prepare your home for a successful sale in 2023. Preparing your home for sale can be a very stressful task. So in addition to the tips in this video, I've also created a checklist that goes room by room of all of the tasks that you'll need to do in order to prepare your home for sale. You can find that link down in the description. Before we get started, my name is Milena. I'm a realtor with eXp Realty. For the last six years, I've helped buyers, sellers, and people relocating to the Charlotte area. If you have any questions about real estate, do not hesitate to reach out. All of my information is below. Let's get into it. So your first tip to prepare your home to sell is to not make any updates to your home just yet. Throughout my career, I have actually seen sellers lose money by doing either unnecessary updates or by design selection. So if you're wanting to sell your home and you think that there are some updates that you can do that will help you net more money and let it be as simple as repainting or as major as a kitchen remodel, first take a pause and consult with a local realtor who will understand your local market and can tell you what updates we are actually seeing sellers gain a profit from. As realtors, we not only list homes, we also work with buyers and we show homes. We see homes through the eyes of the buyers all of the time. So we can tell you what buyers like, what upgrades will they expect in your price point, and what upgrades do they just not care about. We can also give you different pricing scenarios based on what updates you may like to do. So for example, we can say if you were to sell your home like it is right now, not touch a thing, you will make X amount of money. If you were to repaint, you'll make X amount of money. Redo the bathroom, X amount of money, and so on and so on. We really just don't want you spending unnecessary time or unnecessary money if it isn't conducive to your bottom line. Now there is one caveat. If there's anything in your home that is not working, anything broken, structurally, mechanically, anything that needs to be repaired, it needs to be repaired prior to going to market. And this is really important. Here in the Carolinas, it is actually the law for a seller to disclose any known defects of their property. It's actually the number one reason sellers get sued in a real estate transaction is not disclosing material facts, such as something being broken. So before you go to market, get it out of the way and just get it repaired. Now, keep in mind, only repair something if it's broken. If you have an HVAC system that's 20 years old and it's still working fine, do not replace it. Only replace it if it's broke. If it's broke, fix it. If it's not, leave it alone. So your second tip doesn't necessarily have to do with preparing your house itself, but it is important to know. If you are planning to buy another house, you need to have your finances in order prior to listing your current home. If you're paying cash for your next home, you need to make sure your funds are liquid and easily accessible. If you are obtaining a mortgage, you have to have a pre-approval letter from a lender. We want to make sure that you have a clear financial understanding before we list your home. We want to know how much you need to profit before you sell your home and buy your next one. So your third tip is to pre-pack. Some people call this decluttering. I think pre-packing sounds nicer and really that is what you're doing. You're pre-packing your home in preparation to move. So one tip I give all of my sellers is go to Home Depot, go to Amazon and get those big plastic bins and just start putting everything in there that you do not use on a daily basis. You can store the bins in a garage, in a storage unit. And if you don't have a lot of storage space, you can utilize places like under your bed, and worst case scenario, you can always use your closets. You just want to make sure that it's out of the eyesight of any potential buyers. The bin method also makes it really easy when it's time to move. You just pop them in your U-Haul and you're ready to go. So when pre-packing your home, you should have two goals in mind. The first goal is to make your home as neutral and as inviting as possible for potential buyers. They should be able to envision themselves living in your home. And you can do this by depersonalizing. So remove any family photos, any personalized artwork, any political signs, you really wanna make your home a blank canvas for a buyer. And your second goal should be to make your home look as large and open as possible. And you can achieve this several different ways. You can achieve it on a basic level and you don't necessarily even have to hire a professional stager. Just make sure your countertops are clear and remove any excessive decoration, any kind of knickknacks or any additional furniture that doesn't need to be in a room. You can also rearrange furniture to make a room appear larger and more open and more flowing. You want to make sure that a buyer can walk freely through your rooms and they're not obstructed. Lighting is also incredibly important. Buyers love natural light and it makes your house feel more open and airy. So if you have dark curtains, swap them out for sheer curtains. Make sure your windows are clean. This is a task that is very simple, but it often goes undone. And you can also strategically place mirrors in front of your window to enhance natural light and to give an appearance of a larger room. There are several tips and tricks you can do to just enhance your space. And your next tip to prepare your home to sell, and I believe this might be the most important one, now that your home is pre-packed, you've done any necessary updates, you need to clean. I believe the statistic is a buyer will know within the first two minutes of viewing a home if they want to submit an offer. And I can tell you from experience, I believe it doesn't even take two minutes. 
Nine times out of 10, when a buyer walks through a door, I can tell if they want to submit an offer. So you need to make sure that that first line of sight, that first first impression is spotless. It's beautiful. You want to show your home in the best possible light and the best way to achieve that is by making sure it's very clean. Now, if your realtor does not have a professional cleaning service, I highly suggest that you hire one. One thing that I've learned over all of these years is that one person's version of clean is not necessarily another person's version. Professional cleaning crews will get into areas that you may not consider. And some cleaning crews like the ones that I hire know how to clean a home to prepare to go to market. And for your last tip for preparing your home to sell, you need to have the curb appeal. HGTV says it all the time. It's the one thing they actually have right. Curb appeal is really important. It goes hand in hand with the buyer's first impression or first line of sight. So make sure your exterior is spotless, there are no cobwebs, your gutters are clear, add fresh mulch, fresh flowers. And another really important tip is to make sure your front door area is pristine. A buyer will often stand there for a second as the buyer's agent is trying to open the door or gather their notes. So one thing I like to do as a listing agent is I will actually stand where a buyer will stand on the front porch threshold and look at it from all different viewpoints to make sure everything is in place, There are there's no chip paint, there's no dirt, there's no cobwebs, and everything looks really good and really nice. So there you have it, my top tips for preparing your home for a successful sale. These are just some of the things that you can do to really set yourself aside from other listings. And once again, I have a checklist down in the description. And if you have any questions about buying a house, selling a house, or relocating, do not hesitate to reach out. My name is Melena with EXP Realty, and all of my information is below.